In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can create a professional and creative end credits here in Filmora. Before we proceed, don't forget to click on the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you won't miss any video in the future. First, let's go to the audio tab and search red, select this one and drag it onto the first track. Feel free to check all the categories on the audio tab to search music for your video. Then, let's double click on it and you'll see the audio settings being extended. Here you can modify the volume, fade transitions of your audio and more. For me, I'll adjust the fade out at the end of my audio. Then, let's go to the Titles tab, search Big Screen. I'll select this one and drag it onto the first track. Now, let's double click on it, and you'll see the text settings being extended. Click on the Advanced button and I'll change the text duration and the animation duration. Now, let's back again to Titles tab and search Credit. Here you'll find many credits presets to use in the video. For me, I'll select this one and drag it onto the second track. Then. I'll double-click on it to modify the text with your credits information. Once I'm ready, let's go back to the media. I'll select some videos and drag them onto the third track. I selected these videos because I want to show some scenes of my project on it while the credits are rolling. Then, I'll ubicate them on the left side to show some scenes of my projects by dragging them on the preview window and adjusting the position on the control panel. Now, let's move to the Effects tab and search Border. I'll select this one and drag it on the videos to have a better looking. Then, let's double-click on it to adjust the video effects as I'm doing now. And then, let's click right. I'll select Copy Effect, and then I'll apply them in the rest of the videos. Then, let's double-click on it one more time and go to the Animation tabs. Here, I'll animate the first video. For me, I'll select a fade in and drag it onto the first clip. As a final detail, let's move to the Transitions tab. I'll select the Dissolve one and drag them between all my videos, and I'll also drag them to the ending. Also, let's move the Effects tab and search Silent Film. I'll select this one and I'll drag it onto the fifth track. Then, I'll make sure to adjust it in the timeline to give it an old film look. And there you have it, a professional and creative end credit is done. If you would like to recreate this, you can simply click Import Template at the bottom left of the video in Filmora Creator Academy to get the project files and replace the default media with your clips. If you would like to learn more about video editing, don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell to stay updated when we upload new videos in the future. Do check out other tutorials on this channel and comment below to let us know what you would like to learn next. Till next time, stay creative with Filmora.